What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Wind Waker HD. In the last episode, we got quite a few items. We got the fire bow, or the fire arrow, <laughs> the ice arrow, the power bracelets, as well as these fancy schmancy new iron boots. Now, as I said before, I or in the last episode anyway, I want us to go ahead and check out what's inside that hole over there. Normally you couldn't access this without the iron boots, remember? But now that we've got them, Jumping into this hole is no longer a problem. Now I already can imagine what is inside this... Yeah, that's what I thought. A bunch of moblins and a bunch of... Dark nuts. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I paused there. Alright, anyway, let's just take out our fire arrows. We've only got two more left, so... We're going to need to find some... Oops. Whoops. I don't know why I did that, guys. <laughs> My... No, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? My bad, guys. I gotta go back into the hole because I messed that up completely. I don't know what was up with that. I need some... I need some more arrows, though. That's the thing. Are you serious? I was hoping that there was at least arrows in there. Now what am I gonna do? Now what am I gonna do? Look at those guys, they want to be freed. That is the face of a Bacoblin that wants to be freed. But I don't have any more arrows, so what am I gonna do now? Dark Knight, Moblin... Seriously though, this is legit frustrating. I... Okay, you know what? It looks like I can't do this yet. I'm going to give give it one shot. I'm going to try using my Skull Hammer. Maybe this is strong enough to destroy these. Nope. The skull hammer is not strong enough to destroy even these really thick blocks, chunks of ice. So that was basically a waste of time. I am probably going to end up editing a lot of that stuff out because that was really just a waste of time. But you know what? It's probably just a treasure chart or a heart piece. And since we're not 100%ing this, let's just go ahead and continue on. Now that we have the power bracelet though, we can access the next area that we need to access. And that is found here on our chart, right over here. So let's just go ahead and sail there. I will see you guys once I get there. And here we are. This is the next place where we need to stop. Yep, we're right in near the middle of this here square on our chart, on our map. So let's go around and find an entrance. I believe that this is where we need to be. Not I believe, I know that this is where we need to be. See? See? Thanks that uh, now that we have the power bracelet, we can access this area. So let's get out of the boat and approach the rock with the face. I'm really not sure what Nintendo was trying to go for with the giant stone heads and all of that, but... It's a little bit creepy. If you guys are going for creepy, you know, you guys did a good job. Thank you for creeping not only me, but all of the little children and all of the teenagers who play this game. Thank you for scaring us all. Alright, anyway, there appear to be markings that indicate specific directions. And every time we read that, you know what that means. We've got to take out our wonderful Wind Waker. Our WWW, our 3W pretty much. So let's just do this. This is the first time we um, have, oops, <laughs> this is the first time we've conducted a song with three notes. So that's, that's pretty interesting. Really, I think that there are only two songs in this game that require three notes to play completely. So, but anyway, we now have the Earth God's lyric. That's pretty tight, huh? Oh. It's a Zora. Is this the first Zora that has appeared in this game? I think it is. Oh, great hero, chosen by the Master Sword. My name is Laruto. It would be Ruto if you just remove the La. So you know that for sure this is a descendant of Ruto, or either, or maybe an ancestor. I am a Zora sage. For an age, I offered my prayers here in the Earth Temple, praying that the power to repel evil would ever remain within the Master Sword. And yet, unfortunately, due to Ganondorf's evil designs, the Master Sword you hold has lost its power. After his defeat at the hands of the Hero of Time, Ganondorf was sealed away, but not for all time. He was revived and he returned to Hyrule in a red wrath. He attacked this temple and stole my soul, knowing that he had to remove the power contained in that enchanted blade. 
In order to return the power to repel evil to your sword, you must find another to take my stead in this temple and ask the gods for their assistance. You must find the one who carries on my bloodline, the one who holds this sacred instrument. Nothing can stop the flow of time or the passing of generations, but the fate carried within my bloodline endures the ravages of all the years. It survives. The song you just conducted is one that will open the eyes of the new sage and awaken within that sage the melody that will carry our prayers to the gods. The door that blocks your way will only open when the sage plays the song. May the winds of fortune blow with you. But who, oh who, holds that instrument that Laruto was holding? Thankfully, it was only two episodes ago when we last saw this person, and that person is Medley, you guys remember? So let's go ahead and just teleport back to Dragon Roost Island. Let's not waste any time at all. What do you guys say? Medley! Medley! I have a melody for you to play, Medley. Let's just take out our Wind Waker. Not even bother to speak with her. What song shall we perform? We are going to play the Earth God's Lyric. That is what it was called, right? I don't... Okay, let's just play it. Nope. That's wrong. Yes! Nailed it on the second try. And it is, it is called the Earth God's Lyric. Nice! What do you think of this tune, Medley? Does it soothe your soul? Do you get a warm, fuzzy feeling in your heart when it's played? I actually really like the melody to this song. Hmm... What a mysterious song. It sounds so... familiar. It's almost as if something I've forgotten is trying to be remembered. I-I feel... No, slow mo. That was slow motion, right? Kinda looked like it anyway. Just now, a sage spoke to me. She spoke so gently. There's something... something that I must do. Shadow Jay, thanks to you I've been awakened to the knowledge that I'm a sage of the Earth Temple. There's actually something that I can do to help this world. It's incredible. I bet my teacher knew all about this. Shadow Jay, please, you must take me to the Earth Temple. We must hurry and wake the power to repel evil that sleeps within the Master Sword. Let's go now, quickly and quietly. Oh, Kamali, I just want him to remember me as a simple attendant.
Wow, that was a beautiful cutscene, to say the least. One, Medley found out her destiny, what her fate is, and that is to be the sage of the earth. And not only that, the melody that was being played on their guys' harps was was so soothing, so relaxing. I just, I really love that cutscene. I forgot how great the story of Wind Waker HD is. But anyway, we're going to need to go ahead and make our way to the Earth Temple. And I believe that it's, I think it's still in this square here. I think that you not only learn the song that you need there, but you can access the Earth Temple from here, I think. So we're, we'll just go ahead and check. So I'll see you guys there. Medley, listen carefully to what I'm about to tell you. The temple ahead is the nest of an evil creature, the same creature that stole the life of your predecessor, the sage. It is a dark and frightening place. That is why, if you do nothing else, then at least do this. If Shadow J comes near you and presses ZR to call you, then be silent and follow closely behind him. Way to break the fourth wall, King of Red Lions. And if Shadow J presses A, allow him to lift you and if need be, fly and carry him through the air. And Shadow J, if Medley gets stuck and cannot continue in the temple, use the Wind Waker to conduct the song you learned in the Tower of the Gods. Do you understand? Shadow J, protect Medley. And Medley, protect Shadow J. The power to repel evil shall surely be returned to the Master Sword. Here we are. This is the Earth Temple, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to quickly do something before I go inside here though. That's a little anticlimactic, I know, but something caught my eye and I can't help but just double check exactly what it is. You guys might be wondering, what's he doing? It's such a mystery, so mysterious this Shadow J is. Well, you guys will see in just a few seconds. I'm going to take out my Hyoi pair and summon one of these seagulls to fly. Thankfully, there are no Kagaroks or anything like that here, so I don't need to worry. Unless that cannon over there really wants to shoot me. I don't know why he would want to shoot a seagull. So I was right, there is a piece of heart up here, and you guys will most likely want to grab it, especially if you're in Heroes mode. And really that's all. I guess I can grab... or I can't grab that rupee. I can grab it. Watch this. Watch this airplane flying skills. Watch this R-wing skills. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. But now we've got a piece of heart, and not only that, but our heart, our, our energy, our health is now restored. That's a lot better than having only half a heart, don't you guys think? And now we not only have our hearts fully restored, but we even have a fairy stored in our bottle. So now we are truly prepared to enter this temple. But unfortunately, we're going to have to do it in the next episode. Wait a second, Medley? Where's Medley? She didn't follow me outside? That's alright. Well, anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate that you guys took the time to watch this video. If you liked the video, if you found it to be quite enjoyable, please don't forget to leave a like. It really helps in growing the channel. So let's have a goal for this video, alright? Let's try to get this video up to five likes. Does that sound good? Alright, and I'll go ahead and leave a link to my Twitter and Facebook accounts if you guys would like to follow me there as well. But anyway, thank you guys once again so much for tuning in. I will see you guys in the next episode. So until then, take care.